hello it's Linda here from Papercraft with Crafty and today I've got what I think is a really special little project to show share with you um, it's this teapot um, which is quite a decent size this one is full of chocolates um, you could put tea bags in it if you wanted to gift that to a, a friend um, I've been searching around now on Pinterest and various other sites trying to find um, instructions for a teapot. Um, I found lots that have used the Cricut um, and I've also found lots where you have to download a template but I haven't found any that you can put together from scratch like this one. Um, so I'm really excited to be showing you this one today. Um, it's like I said it's a super little size um, and it is actually quite easy to do it's a little bit time consuming which is why um, I'm going to have to do this tutorial in two parts. So um, this is the lid so we will be doing um, I'll be doing another tutorial to show you how to put together the lid so that will be separate otherwise this would go on for absolutely ever and ever this particular tutorial all right so i'm going to pop that to one side and we're going to start i will do the first part of the the, the tutorial um, just to show you the um the base what you need for the base of the teapot and how to construct the spout all right um so i do hope you enjoy this and i'll get on and i'll show you how to do it now okay i'm using um, Bermuda Bay cardstock for this project and you're going to need a piece of cardstock which measures 10 and 3 quarters by 7 okay and what you want to do on the long side of your cardstock you want to score at 1 and 3 quarters 3 and a half 5 and a quarter 7 8 and 3 quarters and ten and a half and that just leaves you this little thin little bit here okay but I've, I've found that you don't need anything much thicker than that holds together really well okay so turning the card around you just want to score at one and a quarter inches and at um, let me get this right four and a half inches okay so that's your scoring done and now is probably a good time to just go around and um, just burnish all of those score lines okay so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now Right, so now you've done all that, what I should have said is to get that rounded shape that I've done, I use the envelope punch board. And you probably, if you've seen the videos that I've done for my teacups and mugs, then um, you'll understand that I use that to get like, um, where is it? I use that to get this rounded base that you can see going on. Okay, now you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, I don't see that there's any reason why you couldn't just snip down these the base here and, and have a flat bottomed teapot. Um, but I like that rounded base, which is why I use the envelope punch board. So I'm just going to go ahead now and just punch along this small this small um, margin here. Okay, so you just literally line it up just go around and punch each of the sections 
because I'm going through double cardstock, it is quite tough. So I'm having to apply a lot of pressure. Okay, so that's all the punching done. Um, and what you now need to do is just lose this little bit here. You don't need that at all. And, oops, didn't cut that off very well. And then you just need to wedge that bit there. Get rid of that. And you can get rid of this piece here. And wedge it. So you can see, actually, the basic construction, if you've watched um, the videos that I've done for the mug, it's virtually the same. Well, it is the same, really. And so now I'm just ready to decorate the outside with decorative paper. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've already decorated a few of these panels now. And I'm using decorative paper this is a pretty little floral design and on the reverse is a stripe and that is from this designer series Di Bright's designer series paper stack and um, these are all beautiful double-sided um, paper stock really nice decent quality um, quite nice and thick um, in an assortment of colors and I've selected like I said the pretty floral one here in Bermuda Bay to go with my cardstock now you need six little pieces of paper for these panels um, and they measure one and a half inches by two and three quarter and what I've done with these is I've just rounded off um, the bottom edges to tie in with the little curve here and the rounded edges along the base so I've got my little project project life corner punch here so I'm just going to take out these two corners And I'll just stick that down. So that sits there like that. Then I'm just going to run a little piece of double-sided tape down here. Like that. And then I'm just going to fold my cardstock over like that and bring it round. Now it's a good idea, um, let me just work this one out. It's a good idea to just take a, oh I've got loads of stuff stuck on my scissors here. Um, just take a really slim wedge from here. And also a really slim wedge off of the other side because it just helps it go together just that little bit better I've found okay so bring this round like that this slips on here like that and you just marry them up like so and then you're ready just to snip up the base now so you just want to cut through each of these And all you need to do is marry them up like that in the middle. So what you just need is a piece of tape along here, along the very, very edge. I'm going to bring that across so it just meets. And stick that down nice and firmly. And then, oops. Oh, I'm really not very good with this double-sided tape. Um, 
<laughs> you can pop a little bit there to hold down the next layers when they go down. Take another little piece and just run it along there like that. And then these two are going to meet as well. So it's opposite sides are going to meet like that. And then just stick it to the base. And then you do exactly the same with the final bit that you're left with. Okay, so just pop a little bit there. a little bit on there just bring it across like that okay and then you can cut yourself out a circle if you like just to just to cover up the base there um, I haven't brought my punch down with me so I'm not doing that today but anyway that's the base of the teapot done and I'm now going to show you how to make the spout Right then, um, for the nozzle, it's going to be a little bit complex, this set of instructions, but I'm just going to try and do it the best way that I can. What you need is a piece of cardstock which measures three inches by five and three quarter, five and three quarter inches. Okay, so with your short side here along the top of your scoreboard, you want to score at five eighths of an inch, like that. And then you want to just fold that over like so, put it back in your board, that folded edge down and then you're going to do some um, notching now. So you're going to notch it half an inch at one inch, one and a half inches, two inches, two and a half inches and then you're going to skip along to three and a quarter inches then three and three quarter inches, then four and a quarter, four and three quarters, and five and a quarter inches. And then you're just going to open your card up like that, pop it in at the board here and notch at two and seven eighths of an inch there. Okay, so your notching is going to look like that. Then you're going to need to grab yourself a steel rule and what you're going to do is you're going to measure your, bring your steel rule down like that and go to this, this first notch here, virtually, well, to the right of it and score like that and then you want to move your ruler along very slightly at the top here and take your your ruler or your steel rule down to the next notch and score move it along slightly at the top and go to the next one and score and again move it along score move it along and score. So at the moment your scoring looks like that. Okay and then you're going to do the scoring on this side. So go up to that middle notch and then to start then start moving moving your ruler along just very slightly at the top and score down to the next score line. So just very slightly score score and there's one more so. so your scoring now looks something like that okay now what you're going to do is take your scissors and you're going to cut along this outside score line here and this one here, just cut 
all the way down like that. Okay, so it now looks like that. And then what you're going to do is just snip up to each of these notches that you scored up to. Okay, and then you're just going to take your bone folder and go along now and burnish all of those score lines that you've made. It's a little tricky because they are very slim, these little wedges, but just persevere and try and get the lines as crisp as you can because it will just improve the whole look of the nozzle and the teapot when it's constructed. Okay, so now that is what your cardstock should look like. So now what you need to do is take some double sided tape and we're just going to run it along this edge here you don't need to go right to the edge because, or right to the end or right to this end because we're actually going to cut some of that off in a minute okay so you're just going to do now is try as best you can to marry up those two edges like that and then you're left with like this funny I call it fishtail going on down here and we're going to actually get rid of that we're just going to snip across like that so you're left with that shape. Okay, and then turning your your cardstock round, what you'll find now is you've got it's a, it's quite an odd shape that you're left with. Um, and all you need to do, the bottom ones, cut off a little slither like that, and these are going to come across now. And you're going to stick those together like that, all right? And whilst we're at it, stick another bit on that one. And stick a bit on that one. So those three, that side, will all have sticky double-sided tape on them. Okay, and then you're literally just going to marry up each side like this. Oops, it's stuck itself together. So that's going to come across there like that and you see you've got yourself like this funny little shape here then you're just going to take your scissors now and cut a wedge out here and cut a wedge out here like that and just run yourself some double sided tape down there and that forms your nozzle okay so what I do then is just take my scissors and just out of the top cut that and cut that so that is my spout so you'll see that when we're ready to put this together 
that will sit there like that um, and I will be using Tombow to stick this on you might not want to but um, I find Tombow works well you'll have to put a lot of double-sided tape on if you're going to do that and whatever but don't put this on now because we're going to do the lid first and you need to work out where the lid is going to fall in relation to the nozzle okay so part two will be showing you how to do the lid and I do hope you've enjoyed this one and that you will join me for part two. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. Thank you.